<laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Warm, holy greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to every mm -hmm. audience, <laughs> holy ones mm -hmm. who are coming online. Hallelujah. Brethren, friends, and even enemies. <laughs> I will greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a pleasure mm -hmm. to sit and or stand before you one more Sunday afternoon Hallelujah. to do this online service, mm -hmm. exalting the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and his Christ and the Father, Jehovah, and mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We are the people of the living God, saved by grace, washed in Jesus' blood set apart unto him, and we are kept here after being saved to carry on the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, welcome aboard who are coming aboard today and tomorrow or any other time from wherever you're at across the world. It's just a pleasure to be here and we'll be looking forward to have a good service and we welcome the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost to empower us and to anoint us and to use us for their glory. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. Hope you had a good week. We did. Still <laughs> fighting battles and still coming on pure as well because here we have no continuing continu city or continuous city. Yeah. But we seek one to come. So we fight with mm -hmm. kingdoms. Mm -hmm. Warfare mm -hmm. until our battles are over individually and finally collectively. So shalom, shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. Praise God. God's, God said his son. They call him Jesus. He came to love. He had forgiven. He bled and died to buy my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove. My Savior lived. Can I do this person? Yes, lad. God sent His Son. They call Him Jesus. He came to love. He had forgiven. Jesus bled and died to buy my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives. Because Jesus lives, we can face the morrow. Because Christ lives, all fear is gone. Because we know, yes, we know, we host the fear. And life is worth a living just because he lives. Because he lives, we can face our tomorrows. Because Christ lives, all fear is gone. Because I know that I know that I know Christ. Holds my future, and life is worth while living just because he lives. And then one day, I'll cross the river, and I'll fight life's fight, not war with pain, and then as death gives way to victory, I'll see the lights of glory and I'll know Jesus reigns. Because Jesus lives, we can face our tomorrows. Because Christ lives, we love you, Lord. All fear is gone. Because we know that we know that we know Jesus holds our future and life is worth a living just because he lives. Because Christ lives, we can face tomorrow 
Because Christ lives, all praise is there. All fear is gone. Because we know that, we know that, we know. Jesus holds a future. And life is worth a living just because he Psalms coming to my spirit a little while before now, and I realize seemingly I want to comfort these people as we go through all various trials and testings in these last of the last days. And sometimes we despair for hope and consolation. So while these songs are songs of praise and declaration, they are also Hallelujah for consolation and comfort. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And this other song is a song I heard for the first time some years ago when I was working the really dangerously hard, losing my sleep and everything, and I was asked to bring a word that I just made myself available to do. And I had one of my best experiences in ministering the word of God as his glory sat upon me, but after I finished singing this song, a sister song. After I finished ministering, a sister song this song. He giveth more grace as our burdens grow greater. That was a great consolation for me. And I hope today and trust today it will be a consolation to you also. Praise God. Amen. He giveth more grace as our burdens grow greater. Jesus sendeth more strength as all labors increase. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. To hide the afflictions, he hideth his mercy. To multiply trials, he multiplies peace. I might be a little one on this song. He's still speaking to me today as I know it's going to speak to others. Jesus giveth more grace as our burden grew greater. And our burden become greater as we serve the Lord because we have an adversary. Here we have no contingency. Jesus sent them more strength as our labors increase. And that's true, Lord, we love you. To add in afflictions, and we must go through much relation. The Bible said we're going to enter the kingdom through much relation. He had his mercy, hallelujah, I love the Lord. To multiply trials, he multiplies peace. I might spend a little time here with you Jesus came in. Much more grace yes, as our burdens grow greater. Hallelujah. Jesus sent that more strength as our labors increase. <laughs> to our hearted afflictions, Jesus added 
His mercy is He does us over and over and over and over and over again. Multiply trials, He multiplies grace. Hallelujah. When we have exalted our score of endurance. Amen, amen. When all strength has failed, here the days of the world. Amen, amen. When we reach the end of our hoarded resources, if we have any at all, all fathers forgiven his only because. Fear not that thy need shall exceed his provision. Yes, God. Our God in the year exists, resources to share. Let's leave heart of the heart of the everlasting Father. The Father both thee and thy Lord will appear. His love has no measure. Jesus' his grace has no limit. His power no boundary known unto men. For out of his infinite riches in Jesus. And he given, and he giveth again. I just want to use this time to encourage my brothers and my sisters. The Bible says that when the Lord will have brought us through our tribulations and trials, he gives us victory, Hallelujah. and he lets us be used to help others in their tribulation. Yes, Father God. Because we know that Jesus Christ and the Father the Holy Ghost are able to do things like sitting above that, they far above that which you have to ask or think. Because we know that they answer prayers. Sometimes we go to the Lord in our situations and he doesn't seem to answer right away. Mm-hmm. Or his answer is not what we expect from him. Yes, Lord. We look for a quick yes, fix. Lord Jesus. But the Bible tells us in this workshop of tribulation, and I have learned by experience about the word that tribulation only veiled Jesus' character and personality yes, God. within yes. us. Mighty God. That's why the Bible speaks about refiners to uh, refine us Hallelujah. as pure gold. Mighty as the gold and the silver goes through refining the fire for seven Hallelujah. times. So does the saints of the most high God go through a cellphone testing which we need to pass each test to make us struggle for the other one. So I'm going to sing this song again. I just wanted to encourage someone who might be disconsoled, uh, might be giving up, might have given up. But the way of the cross leads home. That's why when we get saved, we are told to study his word. And he acquaints his word with us. And during that time, we have all kinds of quick fixes and quick miracles uh, to prove himself. And then he puts us into real trials to prove ourselves to him. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to sing this song one more time. Uh, Hallelujah. Because I've experienced the comfort, the bond of comfort and consolation. When I was finished that day, that song was sung. I've never heard it before, but it lifted me up for our same story. Yes, Father. From heavy experiences yes, and the Lord knows all the comfort his people so he used to do this song quite a few years ago hallelujah, hallelujah glory God. to God I was living as a worldly gospel lifestyle mm-hmm. serving the Lord it was not that nice mm-hmm. to me <laughs> but I said I offered myself the request to minister the word which mm-hmm. was an experience that I had before to be or after of such experience of anointings but this song has been Hallelujah. much and many consolation to me. Yes. I want to take my time and sing this one, even if I don't see others that might come ahead. Yes. Glory to God. God giveth more grace, a very good favor. As our burdens grow greater. 
Jesus send it for strength as all laborers increase to our added afflictions he added his mercy <laughs> to multiply trials God multiplies grace His love has no limit. God's grace knows no measure. His power no bound, very known unto men who are independent on Him. For out of His infinite riches in Christ Jesus. God giveth. <laughs> I prove that. Jesus giveth. Hey, 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 God, he, he giveth again. Saints, yes. when we have exhausted our store of endurance, have we gone there? Have we lived there? Have we passed there? Are we in there now? Yes, when our strength has failed, before the days of God, it comes the day of our lifetime, you know, the last day of physical 24 hours day. When we reach the end of our cord, we source in God. I thank you for having kept in me so I know that we sing it. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Our Father's forgiving is only begun. God's love has no limits. God's grace has no measure. His power no boundary no all to bear. For out of his infinite riches in Jesus God giveth, hey, 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 hey. He giveth, and He giveth again. Listen to this verse, very consoling. Yes, Lord. Fear not that thy need shall exceed His provision. Well, 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 well. Oh, Our God is ever yearns. His resources to share. Saints lead hard on the arm of the everlasting availing. The Father both thee and that Lord will help thee while his love has done it. Jesus' grace has, has got no measure, his power, no boundary, no heart to bear. Saints of the living God, for out of his infinite riches in Jesus, he given, and he given, and he
love has got no limit. <laughs> His grace has has no measure. His power no boundary now unto me. Brothers and sisters, for out of His infinite Riches in Christ Jesus. Our Lord, Father God, give it. Yes, He give it. Now what? Yes, I did give it again. I want to share this little thought. Father, help me. Most of us see God from our limited understanding. When we should have studied His Word and let the Holy Spirit reveal Him to us, so we understand who God is. God is the source, the resources of all things. When He will have given the measure of grace we need for any situation, when He will have given to all 8 billion people on the earth at the same time, Yes, His chorus does not become yes, empty. It's not like when we have things hoarded up and we give until we're not careful to give everything away. No, God is the source of all blessings. Yes, Father God. And when He will have poured upon us His grace, He has not lost any measure of what He has given. So He has exceeding abundant blessings to bless us once we trust Him. That's why we're here this morning. You could cancel service today. We could get served for a while on duty. But we know all God and with all the trials and testings, even if we are starting late, we have to be here. So God's love, my brothers and sisters, doesn't have any limit, don't care where we are in our situation. His grace is not measured. Oh, 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 oh. We need to read Isaiah 40. <laughs> His power, no bound. There is no, 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 no to me. Yes. For out of his infinite abundant riches in the God man Christ Jesus, he giveth, he giveth, he giveth, hallelujah. Say, he Again, he does it once, he does it twice, forever, oh, 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 oh. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I lift my hands up unto thy name. I lift my hands unto thy name. My lips shall praise you. Thus will I bless Christ. I will lift up my hands into thy name. Oh, I will lift up my hands unto thy name. I lift my hands up unto thy name. My lips shall praise me. Thus will I bless I will lift up my hands into thy name. Lord, thy loving kindness and heart is better than life. Oh, oh, oh. Thy loving kindness uh, uh, is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus will I bless Christ. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. Thy loving kindness oh, 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 is better than Ah, his loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise him. Thus will I bless Christ. I will lift up my hand unto thy name. Thy loving kindness, my Lord, my God, is better than life. Thy loving kindness oh, is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus will I bless Christ. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. Yes, I will lift up 
my hands up to thy name. I will lift up my hands up to thy name. My lips shall praise you. Thus will I bless Christ. I will lift up my hands up to thy name. Thy loving kindness, my Lord, is better than thy life. My love and thy loving kindness is much better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus will I bless Christ. I will lift up my hands up to thy name. Oh glory, ray, 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 Christ away to me. I love the man, he gives me the victory. Many people doubt him, friend, but I can't live with that. You know what? That is why I love him so for he's so real to me. Oh, that is wounded and touch my high, 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 when he's wounded and touch my my Jesus sets me free through all eternity. When it's wounded and oh yes, touch my oh standing by your purpose true. Do it God's command. La 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 the in Daniel's man. Dare to be a Daniel, dare to stand alone. Dare to have a purpose for, but dare to make it known. Dare to be a Daniel, oh, dare to stand alone, I have. Dare to have a purpose for, but dare to make it known. Oh, standing by the purpose, true healing, cause of man. La 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 la, doing that and stand. Oh, dare to be a Daniel, oh, dare to stand alone. Dare to have a purpose for, but dare to make it known. I lift up my hands up to thy name. I will lift up my hands up to thy name. My lips shall praise thee, thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands up to thy name. Thy loving kindness, Lord, is better than life. Thy loving kindness, ah, uh, is better than life. My lips shall praise thee, thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. O oh, glory, victory, in Jesus I still my Lord forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me here at the Oingo and all my world is still in. He stunned me into victory, beneath me the cleansing flow. Oh, victory in Jesus, oh, my still my Lord forever. He sought me and he bought me, friend, with his redeeming blood. He loved me here at you, for what all my love is doing. He sponged me into victory, beneath the cleansing flood. I've heard about the name of Jabia built for me in glory. I've heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea. About the children singing of the whole redemption story. And some sweet day I sing up there the song of victory. Oh, the victory in Jesus. Yes, I sing of my Lord forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me here at you. Well, my all my love is good. He plunged me into victory in me. The cleansing flow. He was nailed to the cross for me, my friend. Jesus was nailed cruelly to the cross for you and I, my brothers and sisters. Say on the cross, crucified, you know, there is where my Savior died. He was nailed to the cross. For you and me, my friend, Jesus was made to the cross for me. And I love you, Lord. You are, he was made cruelly to the cross for our redemption. He paid for it. Yes, on the cross, crucified. Yes, for us, our Savior died. He was made to the cross for us. He was named to the cross for us. He was named to the cross 
those forests on the cross crucified there is where my Savior died he was nailed to the cross for me Jesus was nailed to the cross for us he was nailed to the cross for us on the cross crucified there is where our Savior died he was there to the cross for us so I want to remind us all that Jesus was made to a cruel cross for our sins he paid the ultimate sacrifice he was made to the cross for you and I my friend on the cross crucified you know that's where all oh, Savior died he was nailed to the cross for us <laughs> Redemption is complete before he set up the sin. It is finished. Hallelujah. He was nailed to the cross for us. Now what the cross crucified every swear. The most innocent man died. He was nailed to the cross for us. Praise the Lord. He was nailed to the cross for us. Jesus was nailed to the cross for us. At the cross crucified, there is where our Savior died. He was nailed to the cross for us. One more time. He was nailed to the cross for us. Jesus was nailed to the cross for us. At the cross crucified, there is where our Savior died. He was nailed to the cross for us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, we give you worship. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you thanksgiving for there is no one like you and no one can compare to you. We thank you, Abba Father, for sending your son, Jesus Christ, 2,000 years ago, who came as a ransom, who came as a propitiation of our sins, 
Oh my God, we give you all the glory. We give you all thanksgiving. We give you all adoration, Abba Father, for you loved us so much that you sent your son Jesus. And this is why we glorify you. This is why we magnify your name. Our Lord God Almighty, Jehovah, I am. I thank you, Almighty God, that your presence is here. We thank you, Almighty God, that your Shekinah glory is here. We thank you, Almighty God, that your fire is here. We thank you, Almighty God, that the wind of God is here. The breath of God, oh breath of God, breathe upon us today. We give God glory. We thank you, O oh Father, for sending Jesus. And we thank you, O oh God, for sending the Comforter, our Holy Spirit. We thank you that there is greater that is in us than he that is in the world. We thank you, O oh God, for you said in your word, you will never leave us and you will never say, forsake us. Excuse me. We thank you, O oh God, for John 3.16 says, For God so loved love the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life and we thank you today that we are breathing today we have a new chance to accept the Lord as our personal savior we have a chance to say we thank you Lord and that is enough to say praise ye the Lord hallelujah the living creatures praise you. The ocean magnify your name. The birds and the, all the animals, they glorify you. And it is enough for us, humanity, to give you worship. It is enough for us to give you praise and thanksgiving because we are alive and we are well. We thank you and we greet you all in the precious name of Jesus. We give God glory for you today. It is not by chance that you're here with us this afternoon and where you are watching, whether it's morning, afternoon, or evening, or night, we want to welcome you today. No other than the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this service. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in our communities. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in our nation. And Holy Spirit, we welcome you in our lives. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We welcome you, Prophetess Minister Crystal Glenn. We thank God for you and your faithfulness, for your family, for your earnest petitions for the kingdom of God is come unto you ministry. And foremost for the prayer for us, for Minister Vassal and for myself and for our children's children, for our mothers, praise God, and for our nation, praise God. We thank God for you and your mother, Mrs. Odella Glenn, and for your son, Mr. Idris Glenn. We thank God for our spiritual father, Apostle David E. Taylor. Glory to God who is in shut in for three years, going on to three and a half years. Glory to God. We thank God for the face-to-face -face movement. We thank God for all the kingdom of God church, for all the ecclesiastes church all over the world who are giving glory, honor, praise, and worship to the most high God, the sovereign God of the universe, and to Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. We thank God that we are celebrating the Godhead. We thank God for the angels that are on command, and we thank God for each and everyone, for the seraphims and the chair seraphims. Glory to God, and we thank God for who is here with 
with us. His presence is here. Hallelujah. I'm going to take my time and I'm going to thank God for this prayer as it's coming forth. I want to give honor to my husband, Minister Solomon Elkana Vassell, this man of prayer. Praise God, great is thy faithfulness. I thank God for choosing him as my companion, as my husband, as my partner in ministry, my greatest intercessor, my friend, and my lover. Glory to God, and he's my encourager. I thank God for Anthony, praise God, who is resting and who is recovering from a cold. I give honor to our mothers, Mrs. Louise Vassell, Praise God who is released out of the hospital this morning. I give honor to my mother, Miss Norma Green, and I give glory for Zelavine and all our children, children's children. Praise God. Hallelujah. And honor to our spiritual father, Apostle David E. Taylor. I give God glory and I'm going to bring the prayer now in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Wonderful Father God. God, we love you. And God, we worship you and we bless you. We thank you, Lord God, for this beautiful new day. Oh, God, we thank you. Hallelujah. God, for waking us up today, God. Come in your divine grace and your tender mercies. Oh, God, we thank you for waking us up today, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come Right now, oh yes, God. We thank yes, you, Lord, Lord God, for the breath of life. Yes, oh God, Lord. we thank you, Lord yes. God, for your universe. Yes. God, we yes. celebrate you. We yes. celebrate you. We thank yes. you, God, for all that you've yes. done, yes. all that you're yes. doing, yes. all that you're yes. going to do. God, we thank you for your faithfulness. Yes. God, we thank you for your loving yes. kindness. Yes. Oh yes, God. Yes. The word says to come into yes. your presence yes. with thanksgiving yes. and praise. Yes. So we thank you today. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh yes, God. We're yes. ever so grateful. Hallelujah. We are grateful and thankful through anything yes, and through Lord. everything. Yes, 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 thank you. Yes, oh, yes, God. And we yes, celebrate yes, you. We celebrate yes, your, yes, your, your reverence. Yes, we reverence you. We celebrate how great you are. Oh, we celebrate yes, your goodness. We celebrate yes, you, God, your loving kindness yes, and your mercies, your tender mercies. Oh, yes, God. We thank you. Yes, God. We celebrate yes, you. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, because yes, you're a God that cares for us. You're a God that loves us. You're a God that cares for us. You're a God that cares for us. You're a God that cares for us. You're a God that loves us. You're a God that's always there. You never forsaken us. Oh, yes, God. You never failed us. Oh, yes, God. You're, you're never scratching your head trying to say, well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Oh, but you got all power. Oh, yes, God. You're an all-knowing God. Oh, you're an omniscient God. You're an omnipotent God. Oh, God, we love you. Oh, God, we worship you. We bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes. We can't say it enough. 10,000 praises for you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, wonderful Father God. I thank you, Lord God. We thank you for your son, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We thank you that you gave up your son, that you killed your son for all of us, for the masses, for me, for the worshipers. Hallelujah. For America, for Toronto, for Niagara, for the 200 nations. Oh, yes, God. We thank you, Lord God, for doing it. Hallelujah. We thank you that you loved us that much. Oh, yes, that you would do that to reconcile us to you, to bring us back to you, our first love, so we can be forgiven, so we can be saved, so we can be restored. Jesus. And we thank you, God. Yes, We're Lord. ever so grateful, yes. Jesus. Yes. In Jesus, we thank yes. you, Jesus, our blessed yes. Savior, yes. the King of Kings, yes. the Lord of Lords, the bright morning yes. star, yes. Lily of the Valley. Hallelujah. Our blessed Savior, our beautiful Savior, our King's yes. Redeemer. Hallelujah. Yes. Our Rose of Sharon. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, we love you. We love you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. We thank you. Yes, Lord, we thank Jesus. you for your now pierced yes. hands. We thank you for your now pierced feet. Yes, oh, Jesus, we thank you for the 39 yes. stripes you took on your back, the 39 lashes you took on your back. Lord, for the vassals, yes. for me, Jesus. for the world, you took on our yes, sin. Lord. You who were spotless, you who were blameless, the Lamb of God. 
Hallelujah. Lord, we yes. thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your sacrifice. Yes. We love you. We worship yes, you. We bless you. Yes, we adore you. Yes, Lord. We thank you. Mm-hmm. We thank you. We thank yes, you. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we yes. thank you. We thank you for the victory, Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. That you got for us on Calvary. Mm-hmm. The victory that still works yes. today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Yes, I yes. ask that you would forgive yes. us as I stand in the yes, gap, God. Lord. Forgive us of our yes, sin, yes. God. Forgive us of our, of our, yes, of our transgressions yes. and our wicked ways. Oh, God, we need forgiveness of, of the wrong motives. We need forgiveness of our iniquities. Oh, God. Oh, God. We need forgiveness, God, when we didn't love the right way. When we, when we were not suffering, when we weren't impatient. Oh, God, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us what we doubt in you. Forgive us for our double-mindedness. Oh, God. We love you. We, 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 we want to be right. Oh, God. Oh, it's through faith. Hallelujah. It's not what works. Hallelujah. Oh, God. We thank you, God, for your righteousness. Because you are your own sister. You're God of righteousness. We thank you for the blood that makes us right. And right standing with you, God. Oh, God. We thank you for this gift of repentance. We're thankful. We're grateful. Yes, You can come back, sir, and we will go as the Lord leads. And where he leads, we will follow. Thank you, sir. Okay, God bless you. Mm-hmm. Let me throw the I'll go get it. Okay, I'm throwing it. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise this. Hallelujah. Pardon me as I sit to send this song. I don't know why you're about to but I think I need to sit for you. Hallelujah. Praise God, we're coming. Thank you for your patience. The Lord bless you richly for your prayer. Worship you with us strong. May the Lord respect your sacrifices of love and obedience before Him. May He bless you with restoration and many full blessings as He knows the needs of every person. And if He promised us that we supply our needs according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus, and when He's ready, and it brings us to live in the age of rights and so on. You will bless. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Thank you. Hallelujah. Live your body. That's all. Oh, it's a me of a home. Oh, it's a me of a home. Oh, it's a me of a home. Oh, it's a home. Oh, I'm a 
Hallelujah. The next beautiful song of worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great is thy faithfulness, O God of my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions over them all. As thou hast been born, Love forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, nearer. I see all I can thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord. Thy 
for the Shekinah glorious anointing that will remove ourselves, remove men, remove women, remove everything except you. Let us only be a vessel clothed in your righteousness as you speak to your oracle to us today. Our hearts are ready for it. We pray that you will let some dew fall upon the word in you know, the soil of our hearts that your word will germinate and take roots upward and bear fruits upward. Bless this speaker. Bless this speaker. Let self be crucified. Let Christ himself be magnified. We believe you have heard this prayer. We believe that we have that which we ask for. And now we turn the service over to the speaker. 
in your hand. And this is the name of Jesus Christ, the lover of our souls, that we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. And now, audience, the speaker, Prophet Eskisha, Theresa Bayton, Bible, Vassal Man. Prophet Eskisha, your audience, the people of God, whom God has predestined to be online today or later on in life, may you be used of the Lord to bring in much glory and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 A thousand times amen. more. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise Glory. the Lord. Amen. God, amen. God bless you, man of God. Praise God. You can um, hold this Bible for me, please. Hallelujah to God. Be all the glory, all the praise, all thanksgiving. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, mighty God. Hallelujah. We give God all the glory. We welcome you. We know that. The atmosphere is very tangible. It's already prepared. Glory to God. But I must first greet again the Holy Spirit. Praise God. I must greet, praise God, Jesus, which is the Word. And we greet of a Father, the Lord God Almighty. Praise the Lord. Thank you, the bottom one. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We were going to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is a kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Praise God. Man of God, we can bring that church close. We need both of them and I need you with me. So, praise God. I'm not going to go more as I give honor to the Godhead. Praise God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And I give honor to my husband, Minister Solomon Alkena Vassal. Praise God. We can keep it close by you. Praise God. And I want to give honor to our spiritual father, praise God, Apostle David E. Taylor, praise God, and all our parents. I give honor to our natural parents, our spiritual parents, Miss Norma Green and Mrs. Louise Vassell. Hallelujah. And I give honor to our dear kingdom family and friend, Prophetess Glenn. Hallelujah. Thank you. And to the children, praise God. We thank God for them. Hallelujah. And so, Minister Vassal, I thank God for you, sir. Thank you. And so I thank God for me. I thank <laughs> God for keeping me and for sustaining me and for delivering me. And I thank God for the healing power. He's our Jehovah Rapha. Glory to God. Please forgive us as you know that we were absent last week. And Yah, about myself and Minister Vassal, which um, we were both down with a little bit of a virus here, a little stomach virus. But I thank God that he is our great Jehovah Rapha. He is our great healer. And I thank God that today I give him all the glory, all the praise, all thanksgiving for sustaining us and for keeping us and for giving us wholeness of life and longevity. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we're going to go, Minister Vassal, I'm going to keep going as before we get there after. And so I want to start off by going into a little synopsis or a little bit of a note of what we will be talking about, praise God. And if you know that there are prophetesses, praise God, there are prophets of God and there are prophetesses of God. And in the Bible, there are prophetesses and prophet. And we're going to get there as we are starting off. And so we can see who does God choose to be a prophet or a prophetess? Praise God. And how do we know a prophet? When God is looking for a prophetess or a prophet, who does he choose? Most likely, it is someone who spends a lot of time with him 
From man's perspective, a prophet might look like a lonely individual, mighty God, right? But from the divine perspective, it is not isolation. It is a continual love feast to the Lord. And so the first prophet recorded in the Bible was Enoch. And the Bible, Enoch walked with God and he was no more because God took him away as in Genesis 3 verse 24. And so the tradition tells us Enoch spends a lot of time, mighty God, away from the world, yet he wasn't lonely. But we read in his prophecies, he was given entrance into the other worlds. Another word we see in the Bible to describe God's relationship with his prophet is friend, mighty God. Speaking for the Lord, Isaiah declared, Abraham, my friend, as in Isaiah 41, verse 8. So a Western person would not appreciate this concept. In the Western culture, a friend is just a buddy or a guy or someone who tags along on a trip. Mighty God, or in the Eastern culture, a friend is a privileged position of intimacy and trust. An example of friendship in the Bible is David and Jonathan. And so when David kid, killed Goliath, it says that the soul of Jonathan was knit to the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul, as in 2 Samuel 18, verse 1. We're going somewhere. When Jonathan died bravely in battle, David declared, I grieve for you, Jonathan. You were very dear to me, as in 1 Samuel 1, verse 26. And this is the depth of friendship we are talking about. Many of us are saying that we have friends, but when adversary comes, or when adversity comes, then they run away. Or when the blessing comes, they despise you, they talk about you, they covet you, and they say all manner of evil about you. But they don't know the sacrifice day in and day out that one would have to go through. Sometimes the Lord will take us away from our family and from our friend, even our children, to call us into the ministry that he can entrust us with. And sometimes we may not be going to the orgies or the party that we're invited to, but the Lord would have us to come into that intimacy and that secret place to come and fellowship with him. Yeah. But I want to encourage you today that they were close. Here it says that, praise God, during his ministry, I don't want to jump ahead. So when Jonathan died bravely in battle, David declared, I grieve for you, Jonathan. You were very dear to me as 1 Samuel 1.26. And this is the depth of friendship we are talking about. So during his ministry on earth, God made it clear how special Jesus was to him. When Jesus rose up through the waters of baptism in the arms of John, a voice from heaven said, This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased, as in Matthew 3 verse 17. And so the Apostle John was the closest disciple to Jesus. At the Last Supper, it is recorded that John laid his head on Jesus as they reclined. They were so close that John could whisper to Jesus in a crowded room and say, Master, who is it? And the quality of such a friendship is there are no secrets. Jesus replied, it is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish, as in John 13, verse 25 to 26. No surprise then, it was John that Jesus chose to reveal the future events in the book of Revelations. We have this picture when the three visitors came to Abraham. The Lord appeared to Abraham near the great trees of memory, while he was sitting at the entrance to his tent in the heat of the day, as in Genesis 18, verse 1. When he saw three men standing nearby, he bowed low to the ground and said, If I have found favor in your eyes, my Lord, do not pass your servant by. 
let a little water be brought, and then you may all wash your feet and rest under this tree. Let me get you something to eat that you may be refreshed and then go on your way, as in Genesis 18, verse 2 to 4. Do you have anything, man of God, to say? Praise the Lord. Then the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what am I about to do? And the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great and their sin is so grievous that I will go down and see if what they have done is as the outcry that has reached me as in Genesis 18 verse 9 to 10. God does not do anything or nothing without first revealing it to the prophets. So to be God's friend or prophet or prophetess is a special relationship indeed. After the destruction of Sodom, Abraham moved to the desert of the Negev. And so having seen the destruction of the Lord rain down on the five cities of the plain, Abraham likely wanted to put distance between himself and the place God hated. So when he got to Gear, the local ruler Amalek sent for and took Sarah. God spoke to Amalek in a dream and said, you are as good as a dead man because of the woman you have taken. She is a married woman. And Amalek protested his innocence. He did not know she was married. And God said, now return the man's wife, for he is a prophet, and he will pray for you, and you will live. And so many of those people that don't know us, people in the world, they are so quick to criticize and to talk about God's chosen prophet and to speak of God's chosen prophetess. And the Lord says, touch my anointed and do my prophets no harm. So we have to be careful what we say and what we do about God's servant because God will take revenge or vengeance upon his people, his servants, the prophet. And so God said, now return the man's wife for he is a prophet and he will pray for you and you will live. So the gift that God has entrusted into a prophet hand is to restore the dead. And so we and prophets can pray for the dead and they can rise to life. You may be in a dead situation. You may be in the hospital. You may be going through a sickness, but God has entrusted his intercessors and his leaders, his apostles and prophets to pray. And so when they pray, they are standing in the gap. They are standing as an instrument between heaven and earth to bring that thing to pass. And so we have to be careful what we speak about a leader. But it says that a prophet also has the power of forgiveness of sins for those who have sinned against him, if he is willing to ask for it, God honors his or her prayers. Jesus spent three and a half years with his disciples. They followed him and they served him in his ministry. They had been through the period of popularity of Jesus and they did not depart when the hard teachings of Jesus began to offend and many followers fell away as in John 6 verse 53 to 61. And so as Minister Bassett and myself are here, we are not here of ourselves. The Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Father and the Holy Spirit has sent us on a great and effectual open door ministry. And as the word said, they are many adversary. And so if we are speaking, thus saith the Lord God, and you're offended, then please ask the Lord forgiveness or excuse yourself if you don't understand what the Lord is saying, because the Lord says we are not to compromise and we are not to take his truth and his word lightly. These are his statutes and his commandments, and we are to speak, thus saith the Lord. 
And so if we are one don't understand what is being said, maybe we need to go to the Lord and ask the Lord, what do you mean, sir? Or what do you mean? And he will reveal it to you. Revealing of the revelations and the mysteries of God and the teachings of God are hidden treasuries. And sometimes our mind cannot understand or comprehend the deep things of God until we are matured to that level where the Lord will reveal to us. So we are to read our Bible and we are to seek counsel where we don't understand. And so here the Lord is saying that, that for that entire length of time, right up to the Last Supper, the disciples, they followed Jesus and even cast out demons in his name, but in fact did not know him. Many of us can call on Jesus and follow Jesus, but we have not taken the time to get to know him intimately and secretly that we can entrust our lives in his care. Jesus is no respecter of person. He loves us so much that he speaks to us in a very still, small voice. Sometimes he speaks to us in dreams or he speaks to us in his word. And he also speaks to us through a prophet or an apostle. He speaks to us. He speaks to us through his nature, through the creation, and through everything that he has made. And so we are not to despise the way he come to us and he speak to us. And so here it says that at the final hour and only after the betrayer Judas had left the feast was Jesus ready to declare, I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business, but instead I call you friends. And so the angels in heaven must have drawn their breath in awe. This was a huge promotion henceforth that the 12 would no longer be disciples. They would be apostles and prophets. And so their names were now not merely written in heaven. Their names were inscribed on the 12 foundations of the new Jerusalem. Glory to God. Hallelujah, as in Revelation 21, verse 14. And so it takes a while for some prophets or prophetess to learn their master's business. Moses was in a tight spot. Pharaoh was coming with his army and his chariots to destroy the defenseless Israelites who were pinned up against the Red Sea and with no bows to take them across. And so the Lord said, why do you cry out to me? Lift up your rod and stretch your hand over the sea and divide it as in Exodus 14 verse 15. And so the Lord shares everything with the prophets, even his almighty power, glory to God, mighty God. Joshua was a prophet. Joshua walked in fellowship with the Lord and he walked in the power of is God. He did not wail to God for help. Joshua walked and he was attending to the business of his master, which at that moment was destroying the idolatrous Canaanites. In the midst of great battle, Joshua commanded the sun to stand still. And so the sun stands still over Gibeon and moon in the valley of Ajalan. And so God may have given you a gift. He may have given you great power. And when I said great power, he has given you power over the universe. He has given you power over the stars, the moon, and the sun. We are not to worship the creation but we have to worship the creator that create these creations, which is the sun, the moon, the star. And so we have divine power that we can speak and we can bring them into fruition. Praise God. We can command the sun to shine. We can command the moon to give us nightlight. We can command the stars to move in its glory. Hallelujah. We can command the rainbow. God has given us power over these elements. Glory to God. And so the sun stood still and the moon stopped. 
till the people had revenge on their enemies. So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and did not hasten to go down for about a whole day. So many of us, we, you know, so many of us are hearing a lot of things that are happening, but God can command the sun and the stars and the moon to be in his glory, whether it's a day for a half a day, for a night or for a whole year. God is in control and he is giving us these great power that we can manifest these great things also. And so there has been no day like that before it or after it that the Lord heeded the voice of a man for the Lord fought for Israel as Joshua 10 verse 12 to 14. So don't you think that God is not going to fight for us? He's not going to fight for our battles. We're getting near man of God. We're going to come down soon. So the Lord says, where can you find a prophet? Jehoshaphat was famously said, is there not a prophet of the Lord here that we can inquire of? As in 1 Kings 22 verse 7, where did God find them? Not in a conspicuous place, but he found Moses in the backside of a desert. Glory to God. He may not be out there on the public page or in TikTok or on Instagram or Facebook, but sometimes he will be in the foremost place in the desert or in the mountain or in the valley. He can come and he can choose you from where you are out of your nation mighty God I remember man of God that when I before I got saved and before I gave my life to the Lord I was just going to all these parties I was going weekend after weekend I was in every weekend party and I was in there for gain I was in there for what I can get but did you know that God had a great plan for my life he had a great deliverance for my life. When he came to me in a dream, he came and he presented to me what I would be doing in this dispensation of time, in this generation, praise God. And I thank him for choosing me and so I can be a mouthpiece to speak for him and to be an intercessor for him and to be an ambassador man of God and for choosing my husband as well Minister Solomon Vassal for his divine destiny and his purpose and his assignment in ministry. Praise God, as you know, Minister Vassal, his ministry has just begun. I just came to pick up the pieces and we are in this together. Glory to God. And I thank God for Minister Solomon's faithfulness for all these years of serving in the kingdom of God and for a time as this that he has put me alongside his chosen vessel, Minister Solomon Elkanah, so we can bring this word to you today. And it says that where did God find them? Not in the conspicuous places, but in the backside of a desert. He found young David in the hills following sheep. Noah was a farmer and Amos was a shepherd, but also took care of fig trees. And so many of the prophets are so anonymous. Many of us are so anonymous that God will not display his glory yet. God is not ready to reveal who they are, but almost nothing is known of their origin or their demise. For example, Obadiah and Habakkuk, Elijah himself once despaired that there were no prophets in the land and God retorted, I have reserved 7,000 for myself that have not bowed the knee to Baal. And so the point is there are more than you think, but they don't seek the limelight. How much fun is it to be a prophet? Prophets often find their message falls on deaf ears, man of God. And so worse overwhelming, you can give me a drink of water, please. So worse overwhelming opposition may come to them for their loyalty to the truth. In the midst of rejection, 
the prophet carries a great burden, but also is empowered to carry it. Mighty God, mighty God. Thank you, man of God. Thanks. And it says, I am ridiculed all day long. The word of the Lord has brought me insults and reproach all day long, but his word is in my heart like a burning fire. And so God is speaking, shut up in my bones. I am weary of holding it in. Indeed, I cannot. And that's in Jeremiah 20, verse 7 to 9. For those who love the Lord, it is quite a rude shock when the rejection or the reaction to their revelation is vehement rejection from within the family of faith. So do you know that your own brother, your own brethren, your own saints can bring rejection? They can reject you because of the word or the untimed word that God is bringing to the nation that they themselves, the family of faith, will reject and despise you for those who should consider carefully before reacting. Poor Joseph had no idea when he shared his dreams, his brothers would throw him in a pit and debate in his hearing the best way to kill him. Isaiah was sawn in two for his faithful testimony and James was thrown off a high wall. My God, what is a prophet's reward? Daniel was told those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever as in Daniel 12 verse 3. We're going somewhere. Abraham was a prophet. God tried to explain to him how great his reward would be. Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield, your very great reward. And so he took himself outside and said, look up at the heavens and count the stars. If indeed you can count them, then he said to him, so shall your offspring be, as in Genesis 15, verse 1 to 5. And so Paul tried to explain the reward of those who serve God. He too could only express the greatness and magnitude of the reward in terms of heavenly bodies. So the sun has one kind of splendor, the moon another, and the stars another, and stars differ from stars in splendor, so it will be with the resurrection of the dead, as in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 41 to 42. Interestingly, the object in the sky, which is the brightest point of light, is the planet Venus. We understand by this that the importance of the prophets in the esteem of God is extremely great. Secondly, only in magnitude to that for his son. How great will the reward of the prophets be, just as Venus is the brightest star in the heaven, the reward of the prophets at the resurrection will be the most brilliant reward of all. And so we're going to go right into today's message, men of God. And as you can read um, John 14, just a few verses, we're not going to read it all. And so the context we're going to read from verse 9 to 21, sir, God bless you. Verse 9 to 21, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said unto him, have I been so long with you, and yet you has not known me? Philip, he that doesn't see me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou, shows the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwells in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believes on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and the greater works than these shall he do. Why? 
because I go unto the Father of my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I, Jesus, will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth in with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. In a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in the Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loves me, and he that loves me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Thank you, Mr. Lord. Thank you, Mr. Lord. Thank you, Mr. Lord. Thank you, Mr. Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you, man of God. The year ending God holy words, we honor it by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and forever shall be, word without end. Amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, man of God. You're welcome. And so it said, Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father, and whatsoever you ask in my name that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. And so most assuredly, Jesus began the first of three assurances given to his disciple on the night of his departure, that the first assurance answered their fear. This is the end, the work is over, and we all got fired. They didn't get fired, they got promoted, and promoted to even greater things. He who believes in me, Jesus encouraged the disciples to trust him, rely on and cling to him in faith because of who he is, the words he spoke and the miracles he has done. Now Jesus described the benefit or blessing that comes to this one who believes. And so today you are probably going through unbelief or doubt or fear because you might say, I've been through all this. I, I don't have a home. I don't have a spouse. I don't have any job or I don't live anywhere. I don't know if there's a God, but I want to let you know that even the prophets and Jesus was the greatest prophet. He was called the prophet of God and he himself had no place to lay his head. And he came and he died for our sin. So if you're going through that, I want to encourage you too that the great I am, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, also had to go through that. Praise the Lord. And so it says that here that the works I do, he will do. So if Jesus have done this great work, man of God, wouldn't we also do greater work, mighty God? Jesus expected those who believe in him to carry on his work in the world, in the world. He did not expect the disciples to disband after his departure, but to carry on his work in even greater magnitude, greater works than these he will do, which is us, we will do. And so the greater works of which he now speak to us and to the disciples would still be his own works accomplished no longer by his visible presence among them, but by his spirit within them. So the word says that greater is in us than he that is in the world. And so when Jesus was on this earth, he came and he lived as a man 
yet without sin. And he was with us and he was preaching and teaching and healing miracles, signs and wonder, glory to God. And he came as a, uh, as, a, as a sin. He came as a ransom to come and die for us. And so now upon his death, his burial and his resurrection, he is alive, he is risen and he is well. And so he no longer that lives physically in the natural with us, but he lives in us spiritually. And so the comforter now has come that was then, Jesus was with the disciple then, they did not know him, even though he was with them naturally and physically in the realm. But now he is with us, in us spiritually, he's alongside us, he is within us and he is manifesting through us to you. And so if the greater one lives in us, indwell in us, abides in us, and he is coming out, isn't he going to be doing greater works? Because he was already doing great works while he was here. So yet the greater works are going to come through us. God is looking for a vessel that is submissive. Jesus, the comforter, who is now indwelling in his believers, who is indwelling in his saints, in those that believe that they can be used and that they can be called, they can prophesy, they can speak, they can bring healing, and they can use as an oracle, they can be used as an instrument of Jesus' vessel for his people. He is still alive and that alive spiritual is in us and he is flowing through to you today. Do you have anything to emphasize on that, Madam God, as what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. uh, the word of God is living and powerful <laughs> and sharper than any twist. So mm -hmm. I must confess, if I haven't to say I completely have to teach like you teach. <laughs> but the word of God speaks clearly from A, B, C level to an uh, uh, eternal universal level. Yeah. It's the most precious message we can ever hear, even if it rebukes, corrects, and scourges, because it only makes us more vessels of honor. So I'm sitting here being fed <laughs> by the word over and over again, so I can only admonish the hearers, mm -hmm. as Jesus said to John the Divine, Seven times in Revelation chapters 3 and 4. Hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the churches. If we hear and forbear and obey, we read just the words, we grow in grace and in knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. If we refuse to hear, we remain stagnated and not growing and not undead. Sorry for using those words, but it is true. If we go to school and return, refuse to learn, we leave as we went. If we go to school or we go to school, we learn and apply what is being taught to us. We go from class to class and we reach the most class and then we can head to university. And in this spiritual life, there is no ending to the spiritual university, I think so. I can only encourage my brothers and my sisters, pastors, prophets, anyone who listens to the word of God. Well, how do we know some of us are not called to some kind of ministry anyway? We all have gifts. Let's listen to hear what the Spirit of God is saying to us and apply it so that the kingdom of God can be built up in us and we can become ministers in His hands and bring the joy of the ministry. We love you all. We love you. We love you. Praise the Lord. And it says, thank you, men of God. It says, greater works than these he will do. Jesus did not mean greater in the sense of more sensational, but greater in magnitude. Jesus would leave behind a victorious working family of followers who would spread his kingdom to more people and places than Jesus ever did in his life and ministry. And it is happening today. Through the media, we can reach into places that we cannot go into the foremost end of the earth. In the uttermost place of the earth, we can bring forth the gospel of the kingdom of God. 
Praise the Lord. When Jesus was here, he came and he walked from places to places. He, there were times he didn't have, he didn't have a car. He go to places maybe by foot and walking and by the donkey. And in those times he would go upon the horses. But here it says that this promise seemed impossible. Yet after Peter's first sermon, there were more converted than are recorded during Jesus' entire ministry. So the literal rendering of the word translated by greater works is greater things. And probably this should be retained, but the works of the apostles after the resurrection were no longer greater in kind than those of Jesus, but greater in the sphere of their influence. Because I go to my father, Jesus would soon explain that when he ascended to heaven, that he would send the Holy Spirit, as in John 14, verse 16 that we read, John 14, 26, if you continue to read, John 15, 26, John 15, 7 to 9, and John 15, verse 13, that it was because Jesus went to the Father that the Holy Spirit came upon his people enabling them to do these greater works, walking on water, calming storms with a word, multiplying food for thousands, raising people from the dead, and more than these that Jesus did in time that is not even recorded. And so the reason why you shall do these greater work is on account of all powerful spirit of grace and supplication, my God, which my going to the Father shall bring down upon the church. Can you sing that song, man of God? I am getting so excited. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God sent his son. They called him Jesus. He came to love. He had for Jesus bled and died to buy a whole pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives because Christ lives. We can face tomorrow because Christ lives. All fear is gone because I know Yes, I know he holds the future and life is just worth living just because he lives, because Christ lives. I can face tomorrow because he lives. My fears are gone. Because I know that I know that I know Christ holds my future. And life is worth a living just because he lives. And then one day we'll all cross the river. We'll fight life's final war with pain. And then, as death gives way to victory, we'll see the lights of glory and we'll know we live. As death goes his way, We'll see the lights of glory, and we'll know he reigns. Want to sing this verse again? And then one day, we'll all cross the river, and we'll fight life's fight, not war with pain, as death is way. His way to victory, we'll see the light.
heights of glory and we know he reigns. Can you see that by faith? Because Christ lives in us, we can face tomorrow. Only because Jesus lives through us by us, all fears are gone. Say it's because we know that we know that we know Christ holds our future. And life is worth living just because he lives. And life is worth living just because he lives. And life is worth a living just because Christ lives. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. I thank God for you, O Father. I thank you, O oh God, for you are the great I am. You are the great El Shaddai. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are the great omnipotent God. You are Jehovah Tiskanu. You are Jehovah. You are omnipotent. You are omnipresent and you are omniscient. We thank you, O oh God, that you are the great. Your presence is from everlasting to everlasting. And we pray, O oh God, for that one today, that one that is in the hospital bed, that one that is facing sickness. I don't know what is your report is saying. I don't know how long the Lord or the doctor has given you to die. But I want to let you know that we have the great physician who can touch you from where he is and where you are in the hospital bed. We pray in the name of Jesus that he is passing by. He is passing by this way and he can heal you. He can save you, almighty God. We thank God that we serve a compassionate father. We serve a compassionate father who is a great physician and he can reach you where no doctor can reach you. He can reach in the depths of your soul and he can bring healing to your soul. He can touch in the deepest part of your mind and he can heal your mind where all the fears are, where all the disappointments are, where all the rejections are, where all the hate is. I want to let you know that our God is omniscient. He is passing by this way. He can touch your infirmity. Oh God, I pray to that infirmity right now. I speak to cancer. Cancer go now in the name of Jesus. Cancer go now. You have no root upon your people in the name of Jesus. I speak to cancer. Cancer go now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. I speak to headaches, headaches go now in the name of Jesus. I speak to blood pressure, high blood pressure, low blood pressure in the name of Jesus. I speak you go now in the name of Jesus. I speak to that infirmity of diabetes. I speak, oh God, that you will receive the word of the living God. And the word of God says that by stripes, Praise God. Isaiah 53 verse 5, that he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes you are healed. In the name of Jesus, I speak to your body right now. Whatever is afflicting your body, I command it to go. In the name of Jesus, any virus that is attacking your body, go now. In the name of Jesus, go 
by the word of the living God. I command that infirmity. I command that oppression. I command that depression. I command that sickness. I command that infirmity and that ailment to go now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The Lord says, whom the Son has set free is free indeed. Receive the healing power of the Holy Amen. Spirit. Receive the word of the God in the name of Jesus. We are not the healer. We are just an instrument using the power of God. And so by his power, we speak to that sickness in the name of Jesus. Go now. In Jesus' mighty name, I speak to those that are watching and those that have unbelief, I speak that you will come to your right mind. I speak to you to receive the word of God that Jesus Christ of Nazareth came as a ransom for our sin. He came to make an atonement for our sin, something that you could do for yourself but he came and he paid it all. So receive his deliverance, receive redemption, receive salvation in the name of Jesus. For John 3.16 came and John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life and the word says that whatever you ask in my name that i will do jesus further explain how greater works also, would be possible for his followers it would be possible because jesus was would do his work through his prayerful people who asked and acted in his name he promised to do anything that is trusting followers ask for in his name i don't know what you're asking for today but the physician is passing by this way <clears throat> please excuse me praise the lord to ask in his name or do anything in his name mighty god or unity of mind with his a unity of him hallelujah that the father may be glorified in the son and so these greater works jesus promised would bring glory to both the father and the son priors prayed with the passion for the glory of jesus and god the father will truly be in the name of jesus and be the kind of prayer that god will answer Amen. When Jesus he said, if you love me, keep my commandments and I will pray the Father and he will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever. For the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you. Praise the Lord. And so he commanded them to wash one another's feet after the example he just displayed, as in John 13, verse 14 to 15. He commanded them to love one another after the pattern of his love to them, as in John 13, verse 34. And he commanded them to put their faith in God the Father and in Jesus himself, John 14, verse 1. And so keeping the commandments of Jesus does not speak to our personal morality, yet his emphasis was on love for others and faith in him as demonstrations of obedience to his commandments. This is a fair measure of our love for Jesus. It is easy to think of loving Jesus in merely sentimental or in emotional terms, but it is wonderful when our love for Jesus has sentiment and passion, but it must always be connected to keeping his commandments or it isn't love at all. For the believer, disobedience is not only a failure of performance or a failure of strength, but in some sense, it is also a failure of love. Those who love God must obey him 
most joyfully and naturally to say, I really love Jesus. I just don't want him to tell me how to live my life is a terrible misunderstanding of both Jesus and love to him. Mighty God, man of God, we're almost there. Please give us a few more minutes. And it says, I will pray the Father and he will give you another helper. This was the second in the series of three assurances that the disciples fear Jesus is abandoning us. When he leaves, we won't know what to do. They would have less help and they would have more help because the father would send another helper. Jesus understood that his disciples, both those with him on that evening and those across the centuries would need God's presence and power to keep his commandments. God the Son promised to pray to God the Father and ask for the giving of God the Holy Spirit to the believer to accomplish this. And so the sense is that this prayer would be made when Jesus ascended to heaven. I will pray, my God, probably a mother of asking, implying actual presence and nearness. He will give you another helper. The word helper translates ancient Greeks as parakilo. So I hope I'm saying that right. Parakilitos. This word has the idea of some call to help someone else but mighty God, and it could refer to an advisor or a legal defender, a mediator, or to an intercessor. So the King James Version translates parakletos with the word comforter. And so that translation more made more sense understanding the meaning of the word in English, mighty God. And so we are jumping ahead here that here he says that for those mighty God, he says, if the world cannot receive the Holy Spirit, shall we wonder that we in our collective worldliness see and show collectively so little of his power? Or but do you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you that Jesus spoke of these three aspects of a disciple's relationship to the Holy Spirit. That in contrast to the world, the disciples of Jesus should know the Holy Spirit. In contrast to the world, the disciple of Jesus should know, praise God, that in contrast to the world, the disciple of Jesus should have known the Holy Spirit was living in them. So let's jump ahead here that in addition with and in Jesus, Jesus used a third, uh, a third idea to describe the relationship of the disciples to the Holy Spirit. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you as in Acts 1 verse 8. And so this experience is the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the outpouring of the spirit mighty god mighty god and so we are going forward because we don't want to keep you that long so we are jumping ahead as men of god come we're going to be finishing off just give us five more minutes praise god and so when jesus departs he will make himself known to his disciples i will not leave you orphans man of god um do you have another song you wanted to sing man of god <laughs> I am the light, the truth, and the way. Do you have that song? No, I don't know that one. Okay, so can you go ahead, sir? I will wait for you. <laughs> I'm actually in some of these songs earlier. Yeah. But it's really meant, these songs are really meant for comfort and consolation. So he says, He giveth more grace, has on burdens, grow greater. And we've had opportunities of talking with brethren in different parts of the world. The spirit of African, Africa needs this consolation. He sendeth more strength as our labors increase. To our hardened afflictions, he addeth more mercy. To multiply trials, he multiplies his peace. 
And some we know of others, including ourselves, who are going through combinations and multiplications of situations that embody us our minds and cause us to want to give up. But the Bible is somewhere there saying, God's love has no limits. His grace has no measure. His power no boundary no long or to me. For all of his infinite riches in Jesus, he giveth and he giveth and he giveth. When we have exhausted our store of endurance, that's when we have to depend on the Lord. <laughs> when all strength has failed, here the day is after. When we reach the end of our hoarded resources, <laughs> of others forgiving is our holy. God's love has no limits. Its grace has no measure. God's power has no boundary, no hold on to me. For out of God's infinite riches in Christ Jesus, and he giveth, yes, Jesus, he giveth again. Please, right. fear not that thy need shall exceed his provision. For God ever yearns his resources to share. Lead hard on the harm of the everlasting availing, the Savior both thee and thy Lord will upbear. Brothers and sisters, God's love has no limits. Jesus' grace has absolutely no measure. His power, no boundary, no not to man. And out of his infinite riches in Jesus, God giveth, and he giveth, and never cease to give it again. Say his love has no measure. God's grace knows no measure. His love has no limits, His grace has no measure, His power no boundary, no unto many. So you can weep in Him. For out of His infinite riches in Jesus, He's always on time. God giveth, <laughs> He giveth, and He giveth. Hallelujah, man. Hallelujah, guys. Lord God bless you. Hallelujah. And so we're coming down. Please bear with us five more minutes. And it says, I will not leave you orphans. Praise God. I will come to you while longer, a little while longer, and the world will see me no more. But you will see me because I live, you will live also. At that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. He who has my commandments and keep them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved of my Father, or loved by my Father. And I will love him and manifest to him. And it says, I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Jesus began his third assurance that the disciples feared 
when Jesus leaves, then our discipleship, our program is over and it has barely started. So their discipleship program, it wasn't finished. It was just the beginning. And so the disciples of a particular teacher among the Hebrews called him father. And so his scholars were called his children and on his death were considered as orphans. So here it says that an orphan has parents who are dead. And so the spirit shows us that Jesus is alive. An orphan is left alone and the spirit draws us close to God's presence. An orphan has lost their provider and the spirit provides all things. An orphan is left without instruction, but the spirit teaches us all things. And so an orphan has no defender, but the spirit is our protector. And it says, I will come to you. Jesus again promised to come to the disciples previously, as in John 14, 3, that this was a broad promise fulfilled by his resurrection, by the sending of the spirit, and by the promise of his bodily return to the earth. Every phrase of his promised coming is embraced in this assurance, I am coming to you. And so the world will see me no more, but you will see me. Amen. This was true in one sense when Jesus rose from the dead, yet it is true even when he ascended to heaven. Jesus would reveal himself to the disciples in a real and powerful way after his departure. They would see him in even a greater way than seeing him with physical sight. The Apostle Paul later wrote, Even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him thus no longer, as in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 16. There was something more compelling about knowing Jesus by the Spirit than we knowing him in the flesh. Because I live, you will live also. And so the disciples would not only see Jesus by the Spirit, they would also continue to live in Jesus through the work of the Holy Spirit. And so their dependence on the life of Jesus would not end when he departed. It would continue in greater measure through the Holy Spirit. A man is saved because Christ died for him. He continues saved because Christ lives for him. And the sole reason why the spiritual life abides is because Jesus lives. And the song I like, because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because we know he holds the future. For life is worth a living just because he lives. One more time. Because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because we know. Yes, we know. He holds our future. And life is worth a living just because he lives. Because he lives. Because he lives. Excuse me, he said, You will know that I am in my Father and you in me, and I in you through the Holy Spirit. They would know a life of relationship, feared, shared life, and union with God the Father, God the Son, and in the disciple, that the union is marked by knowledge of God's will as my commandments, and the union is marked by obedience to God's will to keep these commandments, and the union is marked by love, is he who loves me. And the union is marked by relationship and reception of love with God the Father will be loved by my Father. And this union is marked by a, re a revelation 
of Jesus himself and manifest myself to him. And this flows from the union with God in the disciple through the Holy Spirit. And so it is so that he can come to us and manifest to us. And so if he did so with his disciple, he can also come to us in this dispensation in us as believers, as his followers. And so we are just going right now, as we said, we were five minutes, so now we give you three minutes. God loves you and he wants you to experience his forgiveness and healing from your past hurts. He wants you to receive healing from all your affliction, from all the torments, from all the oppressions, all the depressions, all the disappointments, all the setbacks and the rejections, praise God, and from all infirmities, sickness and ailments, that he wants to heal you from all your past hurts and all your situation and circumstance. We may not have touched your situation, but I want to let you, he knows what they are before we even list them. But God designed you very uniquely and gave you a very specific gifts and talents to fulfill his purpose for your life. With his help, you can be guided into a life filled with joy and satisfaction. God loves you. God loves you and wants you to know him so he can fill you with peace and give you real life forever. God loved us so much that he came and he sent his son Jesus for his people of this world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who has faith in him will have eternal life and never die. Jesus said, I come so that everyone would have life and have it in its fullest. Since God planned for us to have peace and life, why are we so far away from God? We are separated from God. Since the beginning of time, we have chosen to disobey God and to go our own way. And we still make this choice today. So this result is separation from God. All of us have sinned and fallen short of God's holiness. Sin is choosing to say or do or think things that are against God's plan for our lives. But the result of unforgiving sin is death. But God's gift is eternal life given by, by, by Jesus, mighty God, given by our Lord Jesus. There is only one way to reach God and Jesus Christ died for our sins. Jesus Christ is God's son. He is the only one who can bring us back to God. Jesus died on the cross and rose from the grave. He paid the penalty for our sin and bridged the gap between God and people. There is only one God and Christ Jesus is the only one who can bring us to God. Christ died once for our sins. An innocent person died for those who are guilty. Christ did this to bring you to God. God has provided the only way we must make the choice. We must receive Jesus Christ. We must trust Jesus Christ to forgive our sins and receive him as our savior and serve him as our Lord. As many has received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believed on his name. Would you like to give your life over to Jesus Christ right now? If so, you can pray this prayer with us. Glory to God. And you can receive Jesus as your Savior. Dear God, Dear God, I know I am a sinner. I know that I am a sinner. And I ask for your forgiveness. You ask for your forgiveness. I believe Jesus Christ. I believe Jesus Christ is your son. Is your only begotten son. I believe. I believe that he died for my sin. That he died for my sin. And that you raised him to life. That you raised him back to life. I want to trust him. I do want to trust him as my savior. As my personal savior. And follow him. And follow him as my lord. As my lord. From this day forward. From this day forward. Guide my life. Please guide my life. And help me. And 
help me to do your will. Do your perfect will. I pray this. I pray this in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Grant me a heart. Grant me a heart of repentance. Of repentance from my sin. From my sin. Transgressions. Transgressions. Iniquities. Iniquities. Disobedience. Disobedience. Hate. Hate. Fear, fear, doubt, doubt, grief, grief, lack of knowledge, lack of knowledge. Lord, Lord, I trust you. I trust you. I command. I, I command every closed door. Every closed door for my life. For my life. Sorry, I command. I command every closed door. Every closed door for my life. For my life and destiny. And destiny be opened. Be open, Lord. Lord, let my life. My life. Declare your kingdom, Declare your kingdom, your power, your power, and your glory, and your glory, and blessings. And blessings. My salvation, my salvation, is preserved, is preserved by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From this day forward, From this day forward, guide my life, guide my life, and help me, and help me to do your will, do your will, victoriously, victoriously, triumphantly. Triumphantly. I pray this. I pray this. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Men of God, can you do a collective prayer in Jesus' name? Amen. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For your Lord is worthy. Thank you. Father, we thank you for your word that went forth in Simple City yes, for simpleness, precision, so we understand what you're communicating to us. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that opens our understanding. We thank you for the revelation of knowledge yes, we have received and will continue to receive us. Yes, dwell in that which we have learned. Yes, we thank you for the word coming yes, from you through your servant. We accept and receive your word. Yes, we pray God that we will just allow your word to engraft us into your kingdom, into your plan for us. So you can activate yourself and your predestined plan for our lives. Yes, we ask the Lord Jesus Christ to receive us as your children who have asked for forgiveness and continues to ask for forgiveness. And those who might be rebelling could be rebelling. Yes, Maybe because of misunderstanding your right, their thoughts and bring them to thee so we'll all be in fellowship yes, in unity with one spirit. We thank you for your blessings upon us as we yes, face this other week apart from each other, except maybe by the social yes. media or otherwise, we know that in the spirit, Hallelujah. there's a oneness, one Lord, one faith, yes, one baptism, we come to worship in spirit and in truth yes, and meet before you yes, at the front of grace and mercy, yes, calling you our Father and our in your name. Mm -hmm. Grant us your peace and your blessing. Bring healing and deliverance from captivities. Salvation to those who are lost, those who need direction, give direction. Those who need comfort, yes, give comfort. Those who don't understand, bring them even dreams and visions or someone yes, who can minister to their needs. We love you, we appreciate you, we magnify you. Yes, you have done our best and submit ourselves to you to do your will. Be the glorified, we pray now and forever. And bless the speaker yes, who spent yes, very long time searching the scripture, preparing herself. For your give grant her your peace in our mind, in the spirit of her mind, in our soul. Fight our battles for her, with her, when she's got to be fighting with you, and grant us your holiness. We thank you for these mercies and more, to your rich honor and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And praise God. Hallelujah. Just in my chorus. As I have led, and we are, mm -hmm. we are busy. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. Those of you who have to go and have to go, we bless you. Mm -hmm. We will finish properly mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you for your patience. Yes, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I am getting ready to leave this world. I am getting ready for the gates of turn, keeping my records clear. 
Watching by day and night I am getting ready to leave this world I am getting ready to leave this world I am getting ready for the gates of Perth Keeping my records clear Watching by day and night I am getting ready to leave this cursed earth I am getting ready, hey, hey, to leave this troubled world. I am getting ready for the gates of pearl. Keeping my records clear, watching by day and night. Let us all get ready, hey, hey, to leave this troubled world. I am getting ready, hey, hey, to leave this troubled world. Let's all get ready, my brothers and sisters, for the gates of Perth. Keeping my records clear, watching by day and night. We are all getting ready, well, well, to leave this world. What in us that we are all getting ready to leave this troubled world. We are getting ready, high, high, for the gates, the gates of Perth. Keeping more records clear and watching by day and night, we are getting ready to leave this world. I want I must confess that I don't feel tired, but I always find when I come to this part of the service, I don't want to stop. <laughs> I feel rejoicing. We are encouraging you, the Lord is coming back for his people. Please be faithful yes, Lord. in your tribulation and your trials. Hallelujah. Not only that we are called to manifest the fruit of the spirit of patience, mm. but long suffering. Hallelujah. Temperance and goodness and peace and joy and love and faith. Yeah. So we just need to apply the scriptures Hallelujah. to our circumstances and not magnify our circumstances above God. God is supernal and eternal. Earth is his footstool. Heaven is his throne. That means he has other realms. <laughs> you know, so he has to pass through the second heaven to come here as his footstool. So he is in other realms beyond heaven. That's the God we serve. Search the scriptures, Jesus said. For in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they that testifies of me, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Come on, brethren. Yes, Lord. Eat the word of God. Mm-hmm. Study to show thyself approved the workman that need not be ashamed. Mm-hmm. Rightly dividing the word of truth. The Holy Ghost will help us personally and individually, and he also does it collectively. Mm-hmm. So even if we do have a teacher and a preacher around us mm-hmm. and we read the scriptures and ask the Lord for understanding, the Holy Ghost will lead us and he will apply word upon word, precept upon precept, mm-hmm. precept. He already learned, he already learned. I've said so much. I just want courage. We just want to encourage someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just want to console others with the same consolation we have been consoled mm-hmm. with. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. So blessings of the blessings be yours. Consolation upon consolation. Patience be added. I waited the Lord for about three years and he gave me Isaiah 1. Which is still manifesting, you know what I mean? So let's wait on the Lord and be of good courage as he strengthens our heart. Wait, I see on the Lord. For those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen, amen. We shall mount up with wings like eagles. We shall run and not weary. We shall walk and not faint. I even learned recently we have to wait for the Lord. If he sends us somewhere, he doesn't seem to be appearing. Wait right there because he's coming. So may the Lord bless you. <laughs> the Lord will host. The Lord God of heaven and earth, the Lord God eternal, the Lord God has delivered us through time span, and he exists from eternity past to eternity future. Be your portion throughout this week and throughout eternity. Your wives, your husbands, your children, your mother, your daughters, your sons, your 
language, your tongue, your nation, all that pertains into your life is our next. May the Lord bless you so firm in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless you. Praise God. We won't keep long. We'll see you on the social media. God bless you all. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for everything. Thank you for foremost for your prayers. And thank you for your encouragement. God bless you all. And we love you from the bottom of our heart. Take care. And we'll see you soon. Love you, sir. God bless you. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Take care. Minister Bass, I'm just ready to start. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is good. Jesus want to say he loves you. He loves you. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what you did yesterday, today, a few seconds ago. He says he forgive you of your sins and he welcome you into his arm, into the family of God. Because, you know, he is no respect of person. He doesn't judge us because when he sees you, he sees Jesus. When he looks at you, he sees the blood of a father who loves us and he wants to reconcile us unto him. But when he sees you, he sees his son, Jesus, and Jesus has already paid the price. So you are forgiven and you are accepted in the kingdom of God in the body of Christ. Give it all to Jesus. Give it all to him because he loves you. He loves you everlasting. And we thank God for his love. And we thank God for sending Jesus. And we thank God for sending the Holy Spirit. And we thank God for our lives, each and every one of you. Thank you for fellowshipping with us. Thank you for your friendship. And thank you for your love. In Jesus' name, amen. You can go back and listen to the service as it's not finishing. It is just the beginning. God bless you all. Shalom. Bye. Shalom. Bye. Shalom. Shalom.